Howdy, everybody. Why the fuck did I just say that? Oh my god, I need to redo that. That was horrible. Hey everybody, this is Seethercord here, and welcome to Seether Talks number 54. For today's episode, I'm going to delve into something that I've never really been that fond of expressing on my channel, because when it comes to my dating life, I now try my best to not really go that much into that subject. I say this because I feel as if every person is entitled to their right onto how much they discuss their relationships and their dating life to other people. So if some people want to be really open with theirs, be it with their finances or sex life or whatever, then they have as much right to do so. And to the people that don't want to express theirs as much, they also have the right to not being required to express it to others. When it comes to myself, I'm willing to let people know that I am in a relationship with someone. If somebody does ask, I'll be like, yeah, I'm currently dating Cramchi. I will say that I don't want to be as open about what really goes on in my relationship as much anymore as I used to. And there were times where I was pretty open about certain things in my relationship back then that I'm not as open about anymore. Not because I'm ashamed of my partner or the relationship or things that have happened. It's more so where I just want to keep certain things more private is all. And I don't want to sound rude sometimes, but some of you guys send me PMs asking things like, Oh, what's this part of your relationship like? And they're sometimes a little touchy for me. And I don't want to be rude, but I just want to let you guys know to those that do ask me those certain things that I don't want to share them. And you guys should respect that. I also want to do this because when it comes to my gaming channel I do with my girlfriend from time to time, I want to act more as like best friends and buddies with her because it seems more carefree and fun rather than an overly expressive couple with their relationship being all like, Oh, I love you, my snookadoodle. That was horrible. Oh my god. It just gets kind of tiresome and I see many, many cases of that. To describe it a little better with how I want the gaming channel to go, I want people when they see the gaming channel, if they don't know that we're dating, I don't want them to assume that we're dating. I want us to just think that we're friends because I don't want them to think about the relationship dynamic. I want them to just see us as best buddies having fun playing games. Now that I'm done rambling about that, it's time to get into today's video's topic. And that's on my ex-girlfriend. And some of you guys will be like, Seether, didn't you just say that you weren't going to be as open anymore about your relationships? Yes, I did say that. But the thing is, when it comes to my ex-girlfriend, as more and more time passes since we've broken up, I start to even doubt as to whether or not it was really a relationship or not. And you guys will learn as to why that is today. I feel like it's worth making a video on this because it's not necessarily me more so talking about the relationship itself, but more so talking about the kind of weird-ass experience I went through in this relationship because of this person. So let's just get right on into the story, shall we? Can you please leave? Why would I? You just punched me in the face. You punched me, you bitch! You punched me in the face first! What do you want me to do? Burn. You're lucky I didn't punch you, I pushed you, you on the ground! So to start off the story of my ex-girlfriend, we're going to have to go back to when I was in high school. While I was in high school, I had a teacher in the first semester of one of my years who was my writing teacher. And then once the second semester rolled around, she ended up switching from teaching writing to English and I just so happened to get paired up with her again for that year. So I basically had one teacher for the entire year when it came to literature and English and such. And let me just tell you guys that when it came to teaching her students, she did one hell of a job. She was always implementing a really fun and interesting way to teach us the curriculum. For example, one time we had to read this book on African tribes and she brought in some African tribe clothing and artifacts for us to pass around and examine during our readings and lectures for the book. On top of all that, she was very funny and always was communicating with the students and answering our questions. So overall, she was easily one of my favorite teachers of all time while I was in grade school and because of her interesting way of teaching the class, it encouraged me to get one of the highest averages for that subject that year. So I definitely have a lot to thank her for. Now let's fast forward to the end of the year. On I think the last two or three weeks before summer vacation started, I found out that she had a daughter. And just a little disclaimer, I'm not going to be saying her name or giving any source of way to find out what her identity was, other than the fact that her mom was my English teacher. I don't remember exactly how we met, but I remember that I met her because near the end of the year, she would just chill out in our classroom when we didn't have anything else left to do. But from what I do remember, we talked a little bit, we both liked the Nintendo Wii at the time, and we also surprisingly talked a lot about PewDiePie in the classroom. <laughs> Guys, this is bullshit. Stop doing this. It makes me sick. It makes me wanna. Whoa! 
And after we talked a little bit about our interests, she just gave me her Skype contact to just chat. Not really do like a relationship thing, but just to chat more about the cringy stuff we were into growing up. And after talking a little more for like the next two weeks on Skype, two nights before the last day of school came, I don't even know what exactly happened, but we ended up just started dating. I don't know what really encouraged me to date her so quickly. Maybe it was because I had never dated anyone up to that point, so maybe I was just like, gotta live in the moment, I guess. Hashtag YOLO. By the way, just a little word of advice for any single people out there watching this video. Don't date someone or become extremely committed to someone after knowing them for only a week or so. It's it's really not the smartest idea. It's just, 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 just don't do it, please. I beg of you, don't do it. But anyways, back to the story. The next day after we started dating, she told me through Skype that she was feeling really, really bad over something that I can't really remember now because it's been years since this happened. And I had gotten the last two days of school off because I had gotten all A's for the entire year and had less than, I think, five absences, so I was already home for the summer just doing my thing. But I then just decided to get on the school bus on the last day to just cheer her up when I didn't even need to be there. So since I wasn't really scheduled to be in class that day, I kind of just walked around the school just messaging her on Skype asking where she was and it wasn't until the very end of the day to where I saw her leaving and I just was like hey for the last like five minutes or so and then I got back on the bus and went home. So following that we just started messaging on Skype each day hanging out and watching YouTube videos together and this was at the time where I didn't have either a license or a car so I couldn't see her physically so I was basically in a situation where I was in a long distance relationship with someone who lives in the same fucking town so I was just thinking to myself like Man, this really sucks. And eventually one night I did end up seeing her in person again, but I did end up doing some things both in the process to seeing her that night and while I was seeing her that I heavily regret doing and I will never really do again. But I'm not gonna go delve into those things because I will definitely regret if I even mention what they are. You what? But anyways, following that night, I ended up introducing her to the Skype group that had a bunch of my online friends on, including Lil Sop Plays, Chris Igor, etc. And we all just started hanging out in those calls together a lot. And I will say that it was a pretty fun time doing all that together with them. Everything was fine up until the point that I noticed that my ex-girlfriend started to act a little different towards me. She would start role-playing with others in the group, which I didn't really have a problem with in the beginning because role-playing isn't always something sexual. But however, when she would do it with the others in the public chats, she would be very specific in the RPs about grabbing and touching the other person on the chest and the crotch. And yet she would say things to me when I questioned it and she was like, oh, it's not sexual or anything, which kind of made me feel a little bad deep down, not because of the RPing itself, but instead for kind of playing it off as if it wasn't sexual when it pretty much was, and I could just clearly see it in the public chats there along with everyone else. I don't even fully know to be honest. Role playing was still something I never really heard of at the time, and I wasn't ever really into it in the first place, sexual or not. There was another thing that started to happen a lot between us, and it went in a cycle like this. We'd start a conversation about a topic, we would disagree on something, she would get upset with me for simply having a different opinion on the subject, and then I'd have to apologize to her for a few hours in order for her to forgive me. And trust me, this cycle happened many, 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 many times. I started to feel very unhappy in the relationship because it started to feel as if it was all about her and that I never had any real time in the relationship to where I could express my problems or anything that I had bothering me. It then started to get really disastrous when these disagreements would then lead to her breaking up with me and then asking me if we could get back together the next day. This was the starting point to where I would get pissed off at her once I noticed that she would do this repeatedly. And I'm the type of person where if I dislike something that someone else does, I'd usually just blame myself for it, which is unhealthy and you should not do that by the way. But rarely do I get really mad and when I do it's usually over something someone else does that I don't think it's my fault at all. It was at that point after her dumping me for like the fourth time I think and when she came back to ask to get back together again, I said as best as I could, nope, you're full of shit, I'm not going back to you. But I did it in a polite way and also added that we could still be friends. And let me just say that following me saying that, this girl went into full on damage control. The first thing that she did was that she blocked me and a few hours later she went into the public group chat that we were in on Skype. She wrote this long paragraph describing how I mistreated her, that I threw her heart away and dumped her, and even added how I would hit her. She then would say in the chat after that how she was going to get a sex change and become a boy just because she hated men so much. 
Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being trans at all. I'm not saying that. I'm not implying that. I fully support the transgender community. But doing it for the reason strictly because you were frustrated and because you were just mad at men doesn't really make that much logical sense to me. She also got one of her friends to go on Reddit and say that I raped her. Thankfully for that whole rape allegation, that never really made it outside of Reddit though. Some of the people in the Skype group believed her and said I was an asshole and blocked me, but for the most part, majority of the people in the Skype group realized that she was kind of stretching the truth and acting psycho, so it ended at that. And then the next thing I knew, all of her social media was gone. Her DeviantArt page, her Facebook page, her Skype account, everything was gone without a trace. The only thing remaining that was still stuck in my head was that I was scared to go back to school because I feared she would say all of these lies about me, and it's way more scary to get confronted about that IRL than online. To be fair, that is subjective, and that's just how I see it for myself. But however, when I came back to school literally on the first day, I found out from her mom that she moved to another school in my county that was on the other side of town. Now, I'm not 100% sure if she left the school because of me, because I was aware of the fact that she did have a lot of issues with living with her mom because her parents were divorced. But still, I'm grateful that she left and I had her out of my life and that I never really had any real interaction with her or with any of our relationship drama ever since. Overall, this whole relationship with her was something I felt like should never be addressed to anyone at all ever again. But since it's been a couple of years now since the relationship ended, I feel as if it now has pretty much no effect on my life anymore. Plus as more time goes by, it doesn't really feel like it was a relationship anymore to even begin with, because it felt like it was always about her and very one-sided. But now I'm grateful that I'm with someone who makes me feel like the relationship is now 50-50 and that each person gets their fair share of when to have the focus on them. Overall, it felt more like a weird experience with a person rather than a real relationship to share with another person. So that pretty much wraps up this episode of Seether Talks for today, talking about my crazy ex-girlfriend. What did you guys think about my story and my past relationship? Did you guys agree with my girlfriend altogether? Did you guys agree with me? Do you think she was crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think both of us were crazy? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon page, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys next time. So... Goodbye, everyone. Oh, come on. Yes, I won. I think I did. I won! I touched the platform first! That is bullshit. I am going to rewatch this footage when this is over, and I am going to see and prove that I won that.